Hey, it's Kasim with Solutions 8, and in this video, I want to uh, teach you a pro tip on how to organize potential uh, content. Um, and it's something that, that we're using internally. I built an automation so that when I email myself with a specific subject line, that subject line um, will trigger uh, automatically saving everything in that email, uh, both the email body and the attachments in a Google Drive folder. And what's really cool about this is, you know, there, there are so many opportunities to, to cache information. One, you know, good example is social proof. So, you know, somebody says something really nice about you in a YouTube comment, for instance, or, you know, on a Facebook stream, or you get a good testimonial, or, uh, you know, uh, somebody sends you an email that you want to save. Um, it's, it's, you grab a screenshot of that and uh, send it to yourself via email because you've always got your phone in your hand and uh, that attachment is going to drop into that Google Drive folder and now you have it saved uh, far too often and I mean like 99% of the time when I'm traversing throughout my day I'll see something that oh my goodness we should use this or I should keep this or this would be great for you know whatever uh, and then it goes off into the ether because I, I don't have a, a solid system for saving those things until now. And it doesn't necessarily just have to be social proof. It can be anything. So this could be like, you know, content library, you know, let's say you're a prolific content creator and you want to come up with different articles or things to create or whatever. Um, as you're traversing throughout your day and you come across something, bam, fired off to that, that drive folder. And you can have multiple automations built. So you can have, you know, multiple drive folders connected to multiple subject lines. Let me show you how this works. And then, and then I bet you're going to be able to piece it together better than me just explaining it. So you're going to connect your Gmail account and set up the trigger um, it's it's a label slash mailbox. So we're uh, choosing a trigger based off of the label. And the label that I have inside of Gmail is saved to drive. Um, and so create the label first, obviously inside of Gmail. And then uh, in Zapier, you can, you can select the label that you want to use. And the way this works, by the way, is in Gmail, you can create an automation. Um, you can create a filter in Gmail so that uh, any email with this subject line and I used I use hashtag drive um, any email with this subject line uh, automatically gets this label applied so that filter needs to be set up in Gmail first which is super easy and then once that's done then you the, the foundation will be laid so you're gonna set up the trigger and then you know obviously test the trigger and then we're gonna have uh, upload file to drive and um, with the action choose the file that you want to upload uh, and then what's really kind of cool is um, you have the ability to upload the um, body of the email, but you also have the ability to upload all attachments. Um, and so it, when you do that, the body of the email ends up being uploaded in a text file, um, which you know you lose any formatting, but that's not that big a deal. Um, but it's the attachments thing that's, act, I think, the coolest. Um, and, and that's it. Once you've enabled it, now uh, you can... Um, fire yourself off emails and have them saved directly to drive without having to, you know, find other ways to curate content. So I hope this is helpful. Uh, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up, comment with any questions, subscribe if you want every day. Uh, otherwise I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks.